in my opinion, this is the most interesting stop. stop. Um, and, and I'll tell you why. I mean, there's a lot of cool stuff that we're going to see inside Lucas Oil Stadium. But from a, a network project, what I want to point out, you're not going to see a lot out here, okay? But what I want to point out, if you see the, uh, the light pole over here on the corner, at the top of that light pole, it, it looks like an upside down garbage can. Okay, that is a, an antenna for uh, the distributor. So, what, what the distributed antenna system does, it allows us to distribute antennas like that. They're utilized in areas where you're going to have a condensed amount of voice and data traffic. Okay, so we have nine of these in the downtown area. We've got eight that are around Lucas Oil Stadium. And we've got one antenna like this that is just outside the JW Marriott. So from a Verizon standpoint, the advantage of a, a investing in a, a DAS system in a downtown area like this it eliminates the need for us to bring in temporary assets or the cow. So that's why we were able to reduce our cows from a large number to only three in the downtown area. Another nice thing about this, we're gonna leave it permanently. You know, remain in service uh, after the Super Bowl to support future events, like I mentioned earlier, the Big Ten Championship, which is gonna be here through 2015. We've got the uh, final four that's gonna be coming to town. If you recall, um, at street level, the outdoor DAS, we talked about that. It had nine antennas throughout the downtown area and in around Lucas Oil Stadium. The equipment that you just looked at has six, uh, over it's 400 antennas that are uh, distributed throughout uh, Lucas Oil Stadium. So it includes the, the bowl area, concourse level, um, down in the tunnel where we were at, um, coming through where the uh, locker rooms were. So the, the, uh, the indoor DAS here um, supports 3G, 4G LTE, and voice calls. Okay. So um, the, the, the way that the equipment's configured today, it's designed to support two and a half times the, the voice and data traffic that we would see at a normal Colts game. So you can get an idea of the, the amount of upgrades we've done uh, over the last couple of months. Speaking of support, game day support, you may uh, wonder how we're going to do that. So we're going to have uh, five engineers that are physically here in the stadium. They're going to be they're going to be walking the the, 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 the bowl area concourse. They're going to be doing testing throughout game day. Um, they're also going to be physically here in case there would be any type of network event. They can quickly respond. We're going to have spare equipment physically here in the stadium so we don't have to worry about tracking spares down, things like that. The, the equipment that you're going to see in here um, is connected to 600 antennas, Wi-Fi antennas throughout the soil stadium. So not to be confused with the 400 antennas that we just talked about on the DAS, these are separate antennas. This, um, this Wi-Fi system is state-of-the-art. It's one of the most sophisticated Wi-Fi systems that's available. And what I mean by that is the uh, 600 uh, antennas that are installed are what's called HD or high density meaning you can get more users on the system at higher uh, data rate, meaning faster throughput. So it's, uh, it's something that we're really proud of at Verizon. It's the first one that we've deployed uh, within our region 